Hi everyone, welcome to the session. In this session, I am continuing a bar graph data interpretation. I am continuing bar graph data interpretation. First of all, we need to read the information carefully and then we need to solve the questions according to the given information. Here the information is about a demand and production of color TV sets of five companies A, B, C, D, E. These are the five companies uh, and uh, for the for October 2006. October 2006. Here the information is very easy to understand. Uh, the information is about uh, demand and production of color TV sets of five different companies. Uh, here the companies are A, B, C, D, E. These are the five different companies and their uh, demand and production. Here this white line is uh, indicating about demand, how much demand is there for that particular company and uh, how many, how much production is done for that particular company. Suppose uh, uh, demand is uh, in the first case, in the first company demand is equal to 3000. Demand is equal to 3000 but the production done is only 1500. Production is only 1500 but demand is 3000. 3000 demand is there but uh, they are able to product only 1500 out of uh, 3000. Okay. That is the given information. Right. Now we need to solve the questions according to the given information. Here for some companies, for some companies demand is greater than the production. Whereas for some companies, production is greater than the demand. Once look at the uh, companies. Here, first case, uh, demand is greater. Second case, uh, uh, production is greater. Third case, uh, third case again, demand is greater. Fourth case, uh, fourth one is uh, company D. Production is greater. And next, uh, company E, demand is greater. Here, white, uh, white bar is about uh, demand and the uh, uh, shaded one is about production. So you need to be very much cautious about uh, these kind of things. First of all, look at the first question. What percent of the demand of company C is that of company B? Here, what percent of demand of company C is that of company B? Here, we are talking about uh, demand. We are talking about demand. So we need to calculate here the percentage. What is the required percentage? Here, company B demand. Company B demand. Demand of company B is what percent of uh, demand of company C? Demand of company C. And whenever we are calculating percentage into 100 percentage symbol, that is the common thing. Right? Now, demand of company B. What is the demand of company B? Here, this white bar is about demand, which is given as uh, 600. Required percentage is equal to 600 divided by demand of company C. What is the demand of company C? Demand of company C, which is given as uh, 2500. 2500 into 100 percentage. Into 100 percentage. Here, two zeros, two zeros cancel. 25 4 sir 100 25 4 sir 100 which is equal to 6 into 4 6 into 4 which is a 24 percentage 24 percentage that is the required percentage here uh, demand uh, demand of company b is 24 percentage of demand of company c that is the meaning of that question so among the given options option c is the Right answer for this question. Option C. Let us look at the second question in this paragraph. So the second question is, uh, what is the difference between? Here we need to calculate the difference. Difference between what numbers? Average demand and average production of all companies taken together. So first uh, we need to calculate average demand. After that, we need to calculate uh, average production and then the difference between those two values. Difference between those two values for all companies. Uh, that is the uh, question he is asking about. Now, first of all, as we all know that average is equal to what? Sum of observations by. Average is equal to sum of observations by. 
number of observations. Average is equal to sum of observations by number of observations. So, from this, from this, first I will calculate uh, average demand. Average demand for all companies. Average demand is equal to, demand is nothing but all white bars. These are the values of demand. These are the values. Write down all the values first. 3000 plus 600 plus 2500 plus 1200 plus 3300. Whole divided by number of observations. Here we have total 5 companies. So in the denominator you need to write 5. Which is nothing but average demand is equal to average demand. That is equal to here you can add all the values. Here the units place is 0. Tens place. That is also 0. Last two zeros are common. Now you can take the third digit uh, from right hand. Here it is 0, 6. 6 plus 5. 6 plus 5, 11. 11 plus 2. 13. 13 plus 3, 16. 1 is a carry forward. And next, uh, 1 plus 3, 4. 4 plus 2, 6. 6 plus 1, 7. 7 plus 3, 7 plus 3. That is uh, 10. 10,600. 10,600 divided by 5. 10,600 divided by 5, which is equal to, here it is uh, 2 times, 1 time, and then uh, again 2 times, 0. Average demand is equal to 2120. Average demand is 2120. And then we need to calculate average production. Average production. Average production is equal to, Sum of all these values. Sum of all these values. Write down all the values. 1500 plus 1800 plus 1000 plus 2700 plus 2200. Whole divided by 5. Whole divided by 5. Now, the required average production. Required average production. Is equal to here last two places are two zeros. Two zeros. Now third digit from right hand 5 plus 8, 13, 13 plus 0. Next uh, 13 plus 7, 20, 20 plus 2, 22. 2 is the carry forward. And next uh, 2 plus 1, 3, 3 plus 1, 4, 4 plus 1, 5, 5 plus 2, 7, 7 plus 2, 9. 9200 divided by 5. Now you can uh, take these two uh, cancellations. Uh, 5 ones are 5. And then uh, 4, 42. 42 means 8 times. And then 2, 20 means uh, 4 times. Uh, again 0. 1840. 1840. Now average demand is equal to 2120. Average production is equal to 1840. Four zero for all five companies together. Now we need to calculate the difference between those two. Required difference. Difference is equal to two one two zero minus one eight four zero, which is equal to here it is uh, one sixty plus one twenty two eighty. Two eighty is the Required difference. Here if you add 160 to this 1840, you will get 2000 plus additionally 120. So 160 plus 120, 280. 280 is the required difference between those two values, 280. Option C is the right answer for this question, option C. Next one. See here. The average production of companies A, B, C and that of companies DE in the ratio. Average production of ABC. First calculate average production of uh, ABC. ABC average production. We want to calculate average production, not average demand. Here production is dark lines. Uh, 1500, 1800, 1000. Add all the values. 1500 plus 1800 
plus thousand divided by three. Why? Because average is equal to sum divided by number of uh, observations. Fifteen hundred plus eighteen hundred. That is three thousand three hundred. Three thousand three hundred plus thousand. Four thousand three hundred. Four three double zero divided by three. This is the average of. Uh, this is the average production of A B C. Now we need to calculate average production of uh, D and E. Average production of D and E, which is equal to here the productions two seven double zero and uh, uh, two two double zero. Two seven double zero plus two two double zero divided by two. Number of observations only two. Now here it is uh, four nine double zero divided by two. Now we need to calculate the ratio. Ratio of these two. First value is four three double zero divided by three. Second value is four nine double zero divided by two. That is the ratio we need to calculate. Here two zeros, two zeros cancel. Now you can do this cross multiplication. You will get the ratio. Forty three into two is to forty nine into three. That is the required ratio. Here it is eighty six, and uh, this one is one forty seven. Forty nine three sir, one forty seven. Here these are fractional ratios. Basically, these are fractional ratios. To convert any kind of fractional ratios into normal ratios, what we have to do is we need to multiply that particular fraction with LCM. LCM of two and three, which is six. LCM of two and three, which is six. So three into two and two into three. So first value is multiplied by two. Second value is multiplied by three. 86 to 147. That is our answer. Option B is the right answer for this question. Option B. Next one. What is the ratio of countries having more demand than production to those having more production than demand? Here, first one is companies having. We need to calculate the ratio. Ratio of companies having. More demand than production is to companies having more production, more production than demand. This is the ratio we need to calculate. It is just an observation. Observation is required. How in how many companies demand is greater than the production? Here, if you observe carefully, in com for first company, company A demand is greater. Company B. Demand is not greater, right? So company C again demand is greater. Company D demand is less as comparing with production. Company E demand is greater. So demand is greater as comparing with production for three companies. For three companies, and for the remaining two companies, that is company B and company D. In company B and company D, production is greater. So production is greater for two companies, demand is greater for three companies. Therefore, our required ratio is three is to two. That is option D. Option D is the right answer. For these kind of problems, only observation is required. Observation. Okay. Last question in this session. How many times of the production of company A? How many times of the production of company A? Is uh, that of company D production of company A? How many times? Uh, let us take x times of uh, production of company A is production of company D. Here x into what is the production of company A? Production of company A that is fifteen hundred. Production of company A fifteen hundred. Whereas production of company D that is two thousand seven hundred, two thousand seven hundred. Here two zeros, two zeros cancel, and next uh, here it is. Uh, uh, you can cancel with three table. Three five sir, three nine times. Sir. Therefore x is equal to nine by five. Nine by five is equal to one point eight. One point eight. One point eight times. Sir. 1.8 times. Therefore, the production of company A 
one point sorry production of company D one point eight times of uh, production of company A. So if you substitute one point eight here, one point eight into fifteen hundred, which is equal to two seven double zero. Definitely you will get this result. That is the production of company D. Here the answer for this question is one point eight. Option C is the right answer for this question. Guys, I hope you understand each and every problem in this session, and uh, thank you. Thanks for watching.